Okay, so hello everyone. I'm Rafael from the Java Challengers Initiative. And today we're gonna see a Java Challenger about lambdas and functional programming. I'm just gonna share my screen with you. Okay, so that's the Challenger, which is the team of Star Wars. Uh, I think everyone loves uh, the movies from Star Wars. So you're gonna enjoy even more the Challenger. So here we've got the supplier functional interface, the unary operator by function, and we've got here a function. And in the end, we are consuming all the logic we've done here in the middle. Okay, let's run our image now. And let's see what is the output. Yeah, again, Ronaldo, you got it right. Nice. Okay, I, I still would like to see the explanation because, you know, that's <laughs> a lot of functions. Yeah, it is, it is crazy. So let's see, I'll debug the code. And let's see bit by bit what's happening. Okay, so here we are just passing the concat method to this uh, functional interface. So just to refresh our memory, the unary operator receives a type and returns the same type. So it's similar to a function. The difference is that it works with only one type, okay? And that happens with the concat method. So let's go here. And on the second unary operator, we are passing the two uppercase method. So this kind of method reference is a bit different because uh, as you probably know, the two uppercase doesn't receive anything, right? So let's just can show you. The two uppercase is a method that doesn't receive anything but a method reference has some specialities. So for example, as in this uh, method reference, we need a string instance to make the two uppercase method work. Then the unary operator is gonna get this uh, method reference anyway, because it's impossible to invoke the two uppercase method without a string instance. So, as you know, uh, the unary operator, it's like the function. It receives one type of value and it returns a value as well. So in this case, it would be passing the string instance to make it work. Okay, so we've got the two functional interfaces with uh, implementations, with method implementations. And then on this by function, we receive two unary operators that uh, is basically the fight Empire and the fight dark side and the end then method returns a function. Okay, so basically we are preparing this functional interface, this by function interface with this method reference and then. So let's go to the next line. And here we are uh, basically applying both methods. So the fight dark side method is going to be invoked. So what is the method from fight dark side is just a two uppercase method. So what's going to happen here is that this fight empire apply is going to get Yoda. So Yoda was declared here with this supplier. So supplier, we can understand like a, a lazy getter. So it just returns a value and that's it. So we are receiving a use force from Yoda and then the use force is going into the fight empire and the use force will be um, concatenated with look. So first we have use saber in look and then use saber will be concatenated with use force here. And then in the end, this method will get uh, those strings that are concatenated and transform them to uppercase. So that's why we've got uh, use saber and use force, and then everything is going to the uppercase later. Yeah, as you can see here, use saber from look and use force from Yoda. Okay, and then we just get the system out print LN to the consumer functional interface. So the consumer is a functional interface that receives any type and returns void. And the system dot out dot does exactly the same thing. It's a void method 
that receives uh, a value, any value. So that matches into the consumer. So that works perfectly. And then in the end, we're gonna get the variable that was just applied in the end by our by function. So our by function requires two unary operators that would be fight empire and fight dark side. We have them both here. And then the by function is gonna be returning a function. And then we are gonna apply the value of Yoda to this uh, by function. And then what's gonna happen here is that um, we're gonna receive the use force variable. And then, so let's see what happens on this and then method. So the after functional interface will be executed first. So uh, this uh, method will be basically the same as we are doing here, okay? But perceive one thing here. Uh, realize that those uh, functional interfaces are inverted. And the same thing happens when we use the end then method. So that's the tricky thing on this challenger, okay? So the end then method actually will uh, nest the functions, but it will also invert the functions. So if we passed here fight empire first and fight dark side in the second place, they will be inverted. So that's the, the trick in this challenger. And then therefore the output will be the same. Okay, I know this is a difficult one. Maybe one thing that would make you absorb better uh, would be to get this code and just make your tests, edit what you want and see the output. Maybe you would absorb this uh, knowledge better. Okay, so you got any questions? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for the explanation. You're welcome. Thank you very much, then. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen. OK, so that was a challenger about functional interfaces. Uh, you could see how some of the functional interfaces work. And you could see how the end then method work. And uh, it's not so trivial, because as you could see, the end then method uh, invert the the order of uh, each function and that's changed the output as well so yeah you also saw how to use uh, by function and you could see that it's possible also to use a function inside another function and that's very common when we are using uh, functional programming um, concepts to work on our on our systems. Okay, so that was the challenger of today. And if you um, want to get the code, so I highly recommend you to get the code and just run your tests because on that way you're gonna be able to absorb, really absorb the the content. And then when you change the code and when you see the output, you really learn everything. So we're gonna be uh, putting the source code in the description of this video. And as always, if you liked the video, please give a like and get subscribed because on that way, you're gonna be helping me out to create even better videos for you. And that's it, see you next time.